Well, hey everybody. I am at another uh, ballpark sports complex right here in the upstate. Um, this is the little town of Easley. If you ever been to Easley? I used to be a police officer in Easley back about 13 years ago. But um, I've came here before. We got several video, a couple videos where we've been out here at this complex. But it's a huge, I mean, it's, this ain't even half of it. There's so much stuff here. But uh, we're just gonna come here and we're gonna see if we can find anything. We'll do a, we're gonna do a tot lot challenge today tot lot challenge i don't care what it is we're gonna find it when it comes to coins hope we find some jewelry but i'm gonna hit three towns today with tot lots and we're gonna hit them all and we're gonna see what we can find i hadn't been out here in a couple years and then last time i was here i had the amphibio y'all remember how long that was that's two years ago now some other people might keep these cleaned out i don't know but we're gonna hit three towns right here and uh we're gonna make a day of it my kids are in school I got about four hours to do some digging. So three towns full of tot lots. Let's find some coins and jewelry and let's just see what we can find out here today. See you in a minute. All right, so a little ground balance, 55. <laughs> All right, we're going to, we just going to get out of here. Got the sensitivity up uh, one bar from the top. I run it in park one and those things out there go off too. So we ignore those sounds when we get near them. Well, yeah. It's not metal, but I found this fella right here. I found this little dude right here. His legs are turned around. Hang on a minute. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Give that to Jacob. I got a 68 showing two inches. I bet it's right underneath the surface here. Let's see. There it is. Just a little zinc penny 1992 i'll take it i got a 58 pretty solid it's right underneath the surface here let's see i guess it is oh there it is, it is a something some kind of little buckle thing there whatever link maybe all right let's move on it's hard to metal detect around all this metal but uh, I did find, I do have a 77 signal right here. It's either an old, you know, one of the older copper pennies. Or it's a dime. That's right. It's a 1968 penny right there. Getting some light. There it is. 68 penny. Here's a challenge for you. All right, so you got these little things right here. They all have one, one, uh, you know, one leg, metal leg, and uh get over next to it it's like 18 20 33 22 26 29 but then all of a sudden you get to this one i got a 79 78 right here then i get closer to 67 over next to that so let me get my pinpointer out and see if there's something right there yep right there boom penny I knew I had something over here. It's a 69 penny. So there's a penny right there next to that. Not far from that um, leg on that thing. Under the monkey bars here. Get that 85. So it's either going to be a quarter or a dime. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to venture to say a dime. It's a dime. Good deal. I'll take it. 31, 32, 33. I see that pull tab or nickel. Let's see. See the pull tab or nickel here. It's a nickel. Got me a nickel. All I need now is a quarter and I have all the denominations. I have a different spot lot here. And uh, I got a 46 right here, 45. And I got a 76, 79 right there. So we're going to dig them both out and uh, see what they are. I found the 40 is a washer. So there you go. Now let's see what that 79 right there is. There's a washer there connected to nothing. This right here, that's a nut connected to a bolt down in there. So I guess that was from one of the old playground pieces. So uh, let's keep moving. There's coin on this little park area. This is ink penny. But I'll take it. Penny, but boy, I think been there a while. 
Look at that discoloration on it. All right, then. Last time I showed you anything, I done found four pennies. And I ain't hardly moved, hardly. Um, got me a dime. So that's a 2013, so it won't go in the book, but it will definitely go toward future metal detecting gear or lunch. Always good to recheck your hole because in that, where that dime was just at, I just found a nickel and a penny. I got the uh, notorious 9091 signal. What did we say that was? A quarter? If it's a coin? I can't think that is. That, my friends, is a quarter. With a date of, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 80s. See, 198 something, might be 84. Anyway, it is a quarter. My first non coin, uh, that you know it's not real trash, it's just so interesting find. Some young and lost his buckle off of his britches. <laughs> I've been a lady too, who knows, or a man. Anyway, all right then. Broke off a key here. Well, says Wick set. Well, found that. All right. Well, I just finished up my second park, and yeah, I found me some mini mouse ears. <laughs> I broke on one side right here. So, anyway, all right. Well, at least I got them up put them in a trash can but yep there was a tight lot right up there and uh found quite a bit of coins up there i don't think anybody's done it before and right up there on the hill is where me and chris found our first silver dimes he found one the first time i went out i found one a second and up there's where i found that victor medal if you hadn't seen that video if you'll click right up there in the corner and go watch that that victor medal is now in knoxville tennessee at the kelly co showroom you know Kelico, but anyway third park i'm gonna go hit it real quick and then on my way back home i'm gonna grab me a coffee but anyway see you in a minute i'm at my third and final park and uh, all these parks are within about 15 miles from each other 10 to 15 miles and deep Well, let's see what it is. It was a Pepsi bottle cap. And it, uh, if you stick that in there, where it was at, right there, seven inches. So, that was a long way down there, though. I'm almost certain this is a coin. I'm going to say it's a dime. I was right. It was a dime. Bam. On the coins now. Got me another penny. 1973, looks like aging over here in this rottening mulch this is a smaller playground so don't expect a whole lot more I have a heart you know the old saying ah have a heart <laughs> there you go there's your heart all right then i'll get a little closer you can see a little better it's probably blurry but sorry all right then found a heart ring it real low on the simplex so been taking me a little break here and I uh, just want to think about the future of metal detecting I've noticed that all three of these parks that I've went to two out of the three have completely resurfaced all of their grass to the really nice zoysia or whatever they call that grass and um, I have a hard time trying to convince myself to dig in that and I guess just because they spend so much money on it and the city you know all the residents of the city pay to have this grass out here and you know you just don't want to mess it up so when it comes to parks uh, question out there how many of you have parks in your town in your your county your neighborhood and y'all have that type of grass and y'all still dig on it Please let me know. I, I'm curious because I just don't feel right about digging it up. You know what I'm saying? Even if I do make a good plug or whatever. But I just don't feel right about it. But 
anyway you just let me know because i'm curious about it all right so i got a few targets under here under this swing set right here um this one here i just seen laying here there's some sort of piece of jewelry and uh anyway i bet it was a earring a round earring here but anyway that's what i found just now but i got a target right here i had to turn my sensitivity down because of all this this metal stuff right here so let's see what we can find here got a train coming A zinc penny. Must, yeah, it's a zincing. Anyway, just found that right there. So I'm gonna look around, make sure I didn't miss something, and we'll do some more searching here. So, all right, I got a 33 right here. Nah, uh, it's probably a pull tab right here. I know y'all gonna get on to me for not wearing gloves. I normally wear gloves, and y'all know that. But today, I don't know. No glove day, I guess. Let's see. Surely it's out by now. Yep, there it is. That's actually a dime. No, it's not. It's a penny. Yeah. Zinc penny. Another zinc penny. Bam! Got me a zinc penny double check the hole again and then move on that rang up low though it's kind of weird i got an 84 right in here i turned my sensitivity down so it wouldn't go off on this and it's a solid 85 all right it's right there directly under here oh what is that oh i see it oh that's cool it's a car. Let's clean it up a little bit and look at it a little better. Oh, one of the wheels fell off. Oh, well. I think I found a car in the last week's video for you. Or for me, really. <laughs> I think it lost a wheel, too. No, it cracked. That was that gray when I cracked it. It looks like bees. Whew. All right, then. Cool. What's it say on the bottom? I want to say it says Racing Champions, and it says... 56 or 36 nomad i'd like to be a nomad not for racing but for note to macro how about that well everybody it's been a fun day it really has had a lot of fun uh got to do some metal detecting again and um trying to get my way through november videos um i had a couple places lined up I actually was going to go to a place today that was going to be an old site and the owner and homeowner had to message me well actually i messaged her and i had something else come up um one of my co-workers uh needed me to come help him find some property lines so i took detectors down there found those for him and uh, it just worked out real good because the lady that owned the house i was supposed to go to this morning she was actually uh needing to get her a couple sheep that had been attacked by something dog or something needed to get them to an animal hospital a vet so that they can get the, get the help they needed so it all worked out i got to help somebody she got to take care of the animals so i'm gonna try to get back up there soon and uh hit that property it's a property i've hit before but i told you i wanted to take the bigger coil out there so um but that house was built in the 1800s so uh so anyway we're gonna do this wrap up and um we're gonna see let's show you show you everything i found i found a ton of coins but I mean, that's to be expected tot, tot lots you got a lot of kids like that you know they carry coins in their pockets and they run around whatever and they just fall out of the pockets you know so uh we just get out here and collect them up it's good practice though uh, just get hit the tot lots a good practice if you don't have a chance to go to an old site so anyway let's show you the goods all right so like i always do let's just start with the trash and pick some of this stuff just off the surface a lot of this right here was on the surface and that detector you know just lit right up on it you know 
Um, but yeah, I just found all this garbage here. But uh, also, you got some good stuff. And got that cool little guy right there. It was one of the first things I found today. And um, I think that car was one of the last things I found today. So the first the first thing was a toy, and the last thing was a toy. Well, close to the last thing. But I found that little key right there. That was pretty cool. And uh, let me get that name on that thing again. Let y'all see that name. It says, uh, oh, it does say Quick Set. K W I K S E T. Quick Set. So I found that uh, hoop earring right there. And then this little thing right here. I didn't show you all this. I don't even know what that is. But it's some sort of little cap off of something. Might be off of a, a lamp or something. I don't know. Why it was in the um, playground, who knows. But uh, found one quarter of all day. Found one quarter. Found three nickels four dimes and uh found 28 pennies so not a bad day on the pennies there but it won't be long i'll be cleaning up my coins again in my rock tumbler but anyway that's what the cool stuff i found today along with that little button right there let me show you all that button something there on it anyway that's all i found today not too bad i hope you enjoyed the video and uh we plan on doing more of these hunts Again, every Saturday, and I'm gonna try every Tuesday. There's gonna be a, some, some times there at Tuesdays I'm not gonna have a video. So just keep that in mind. There's gonna be some Tuesdays that Southern Relics will not put out a video, and it'll end up just being Saturdays sometimes. But it is what it is. So this ain't my full-time job. I have a full-time job. So I have to do that, and I have to do that stuff. And uh, this, is just, this is just a hobby. So when I'm able to get a video out there, I do it. But I try, I've been trying to be uh, pretty consistent with my Tuesdays and Saturdays, but there are gonna be some times that I'm gonna have to drop off on Tuesdays So that way you still get your Saturday videos, but anyway, hope you have a good day. God bless We'll see you next time and always remember to treat other people how you want to be treated See you.